just an hour and a half's drive from Cape Town, you can visit the West Coast National Park, which is a stunning nature reserve and a popular spot for boaters and anglers. And look at this spectacular coastline. Super rough waves, the current is ripping. And it smells like bird turd. This is the exact reason why you would never want to be shipwrecked or run aground on the southern coast of Africa. The no go zone. There are many hiking and bicycling trails, and the park is a bird watcher's paradise with hundreds of different species of birds. We're overlooking Long Island Bay, which is where we're going to be sailing for the next week. In these coves and over there's a far bay. This is all a national park and you can see a bunch of animals. We saw kudu, we saw ostriches, we saw a bunch of different types of birds. The last week of our sailing training would take place in Saldana Bay, where we would finish the practical portion of our day skipper course. One of our favorite exercises was close quarter solo sailing, which as you can see here, Amy was an absolute boss at. We would perform figure eight around two obstacles within close distance of each other and in shallow waters to make sure the challenge was real. Saldana Bay is a fantastic spot with challenging conditions and perfect for practicing passage making, handling emergency situations and gaining a practical understanding of currents and tides. Besides pretending to be pirates and overtaking our fellow students, we had an incredible fun week with long days practicing all the skills and theory we had learned. At the end of the day, we stopped by the Mykonos Casino and Resort for a nice late lunch before navigating back to the Yard Club in the dark of the night. One country. One country. One country. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. One country. This place is very hoity tweety. We are at Babylon's Torin Vineyard, which is one of the oldest vineyards in Franschhoek area. This whole area is just littered with vineyards and these beautiful old colonial style buildings with the white, look like old farmhouse. Dating back to 1692, Babylon's Torin is one of the best preserved farmyards on the Cape. It is well known for its magnificent gardens and a couple of high-end farm-to-table restaurants. Be aware that getting a table is difficult and we highly recommend booking ahead of time. You can also stay at the vineyard in one of the nine beautiful farmhouse suites. The trail's made of all crushed up pits, either maybe apricot or peach, I'm not sure. being in an incredible botanical garden. It's out of this world. The gardens are amazing. I definitely want one of these at my house. It's so cool, it's like a bird nest.
Table Mountain. It's been cloudy most of the week, so we finally have a clear day to have a 360 view of the city. I can't believe our South African adventure is coming to an end. It's been such an incredible, incredible three weeks. I've learned so much about sailing. I had no clue what I was getting into. Certainly came into it a little naive, but I've learned so much and apparently I can sail my own sailboat today. So that's pretty awesome. Cape Town is still one of my favorite cities in the world from the people to the food to the location, which is ridiculously amazing. Some of the highlights of my trip have definitely been sailing down to Cape of Good Hope, swimming with the penguins, Wineland, and eating all around Cape Town City. It's been really, really amazing. Thanks so much for joining me on Adventure Calls. If you enjoyed this video, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures.